Hey guys, so I vented out earlier this week. I have an exhaust. I just put some PVC here uh, outside my shop door. And the smell, I still want a little bit better. So I bought this inline. Um, I'll put a link in the description. But it's an inline exhaust fan. This is rated for about 185 CFM, I believe. And I had these fittings for my dust collector. That's a four inch, and that's probably about two and three quarter. So they're going to fit just like that. And then I've already cut, already cut the hose. So I'm going to connect this and see what we have. This is a friction fit, so I'm going to put a little tape around here, a little uh, AC HVAC tape. And that's going to make it a little stiffer. I'm sorry, a little, make it more of a friction fit because that'll just come off. Okay, so what I did was just build up that HVAC tape in one spot. And that provides a little bit of a friction fit. It's not quite falling off. And now I'm going to tape the rest of this housing with that tape. And then do the same for this other side. Okay guys, I got them taped on. I didn't actually need that friction fit, I don't know what I was thinking. But I taped it, and then I ran my fingers along it to really seal that up. And I already tested it, this is the exhaust side. So I'm just gonna put my hose going to the outside of my shop in. Kind of a tight fit, but that's what you want. Could have done this, made it easier to do this before you do this. Okay, so that's on pretty good. I'm gonna uh, zip tie this as well. And then I'll wrap it with the same ducting tape. Then I'll do that to both of these and we'll try it out. All right guys, it's hooked up. Now, the one thing I would have done differently, I didn't check this, this has a plug-in but no switch. So it just means I'm gonna install a power over here. I'm gonna install a, uh, I'll just put a power strip there. I've been meaning to do that anyway with the surge protector for the M1 and this. So anytime the M1's on, the dust collector will be on. I mean the uh, smoke exhaust will be on. And I could shorten, I could shorten this up if it's an issue, but I'm gonna try it out and uh, cut something and uh, see if I have a better result. I'll let you guys know. Feel free to post a comment and send me a picture of what your exhaust setup looks like for your M1. If you have any questions, I'll uh, just send me a message on YouTube and I'll uh, give you the pop.